So I'm making a potato salad. It's aloo chaat in Hindi. Uh, what I've done here is I've just toasted cumin and coriander seeds. And in here I have some crushed red chili already there. Okay, so I want to make a dressing with these three things. So aloo chaat is a very common street food in India. Uh, as a child growing up in India, I remember eating this day in day out. It's a kind of snack that you would go to the market shopping and you would have this first, then come home to proper dinner. Okay. Oil. Lots of oil. And I'm going to fry this in a mixture of oil and ghee. All right. Okay, so oil is here, and that's ghee, so about a tablespoon of ghee goes in there. And what I have here is boiled potato, which I've sliced them about half an inch thick. Okay, and then I'll start loading them in the pan. So you just boil the potatoes enough, I would say, to hold the shape and the texture. Okay, the potatoes are nicely colored on both the sides. I'll take them out so that I can soak off extra fat. An idea is to, uh, you could deep fry them if you wish to, uh, but you know, just being able to fry it in the ghee, it's just such a lovely idea. It just gives that beautiful richness what only the flavor of ghee can provide. So if you don't have ghee at home, yeah, you could use butter. But ghee is so easily available in most of the supermarkets these days. You can easily find it. Okay, so that's done. So while this rests here, what I want to do quickly is, I have some fantastic olive oil here. Okay, so I just kind of quick dressing, about a tablespoon lime or lemon whatever you prefer okay i prefer lime i grew up in india and lime is my favorite citrus fruit absolutely adore it pinch of salt and what i have here these spices okay that goes in just about a teaspoon and rest i keep because i need that and mix that through now what I do, <clears throat> use this plate, there are three dressings that go with that. One is mint chutney, the tamarind chutney, both of these can be bought in the bottles. T mint chutney, I would say make your own simple recipe. You can find millions of recipes on Google, but if you can't, then drop me a line and I'll let you know how to make it. And this is sweetened yogurt, just yogurt uh, mixed with a little bit of sugar and to uh, cut the richness, add a little squeeze of lime and that brings that beautiful freshness in there okay so that goes in now what i do is add the potatoes randomly there's no pattern to it adding five or six pieces five would be good i would say okay you know all i want to do is just make little indents in there just crush them gently not too much you still want them to hold its shape and form. Idea is to let the juices go in. Now, this dressing goes on top. Drop it randomly on the plate here and there. And then I have mint chutney. Guy. Again, pour randomly, there's no rule to it. Followed by tamarind. Try not to coat the potatoes with all these toppings, otherwise 
it can get very overwhelming and you'll not be able to see what you're doing and then yogurt can just go and you can drizzle the yogurt on top that goes in there a little bit of smear not very good and then i have some pomegranate seeds i found them living in my <laughs> fridge i was joking with my son saying this thousand year old pomegranate in a fridge but you know i'm sure if you look deeper into your fridge you will find loads of things like that and then this spice powder that goes on top okay and then i have some leaves which are almost towards the end of its life but i guess i can use them just to add a little bit of extra color to it Again, just mix salad leaf. I had a, this bag from, I brought it over from my restaurant when we were shutting down. So, kind of rescuing salad leaves, that's all I have. And one or two of the heat as well. Okay, cool. So guys, this is my quick aloo chart stroke potato salad recipe straightforward very simple very easy you can easily make it at home do try it i know you will enjoy it so i found out by tasting that this potato chart or the aloo chart goes extremely well with the royal flush obviously as a gentleman i should pour it in a proper champagne glass and have it you know i'm a bit of a lad i love it like this enjoy it